Right, Amanda, we've been here all morning long. I'm loving that red that you're wearing for the Red Cross for this telethon. Every dollar, listen to this, every dollar during this telethon stays in our area. When a lot of people hear American Red Cross, they think of the whole U.S., and they do serve the whole U.S., but they really help and impact people right here locally, especially during a crisis. That's exactly what the Red Cross does. It's all about volunteers. In fact, 90% of the Red Cross workforce is completely volunteer. That's incredible when you think about the number of people People we see on a regular basis wearing those Red Cross shirts that <laughs> tend to be walking in to those disasters when everybody else seems to be walking out. So today is really all about making sure that those volunteers have the resources they need so they can continue helping the people who need them. So the number to call here is 334-613-8283. Of course, that QR code is still on your screen. You can use that to donate online. We've gotten a lot of donations online. At last check, now it's been a little while. I should check the numbers soon. <laughs> Last check, we were up close to $2,500. Wow. $25,000, I should wow. say. Uh, no, 2500 or 25000 Hundred. Hundred. Okay, twenty five hundred. Uh, we set a pretty lofty goal. In fact, I talked with the executive director, Lisa Johnson, of the Red Cross of Central East Alabama earlier this morning, who said she wanted to raise a hundred thousand dollars wow. today. So we've got a long way to go. It's still a little early. We're going to be here until six thirty. And so th that's, but that's the goal. And the goal is not just to respond to those disasters. The Red Cross does so much that so many people really never even consider. It's not just walking into a storm ravaged area. It's also uh, maybe even responding to a house fire or helping people to respond to a house fire. It is um, uh, oftentimes, it's providing life-saving training, life-saving skills training, things like CPR or first aid or the AED, those defibrillators that have become so common in so many places. That's what today is all about, is to make sure that these volunteers can continue serving those people, continue to offer those services to so many people. When people hear American Red Cross, a lot of the times they think of natural disasters, and we are impacted by a lot of those natural disasters here in our state. But throughout this show, we will tell you about all of the many services that the American Red Cross offers. Joining us now is Annette with the American Red Cross. Thank you so much for joining us and being here for our telethon. Tell us a little bit about your work and what you do. Yeah, well, well, thank you for having me first. Um, I, am, I am one of those that I'm lucky to work with the American Red Cross and all of our amazing volunteers. Uh, we do so much, right? There's uh, disaster, disaster response, and that's what a lot of people think of. But we also have service to the armed forces where we're out there every day providing for veterans and military families and making sure that they have a way to get home in case something happens while they're overseas serving. Um, we also uh, so blood, blood, it's very important. The two things that everybody knows the Red Cross for is disaster and blood. And without that blood and without those donors, there's no way to have that blood. Um, you can't manufacture it. And um, training services, we're providing life, life um, saving CPR classes and first aid, even babysitting classes and teaching people how to be safe when they're babysitting, swimming classes, and the list goes on. There's so much to know about what the Red Cross does. You mentioned the military and how, how much the Red Cross does for the military. This is a huge military community here. What kind of services specifically does the Red Cross offer for military members? Yeah, so there's the, the first one that I was talking about was the emergency communications. We are the only organization that has the ability to work with the U.S. military and send those communications overseas. And what that means is if you have a service member who say their, their wife is having a child or someone has died, a loved one has died, we are the ones that get in touch with their commanding officer and get them back home. Oftentimes we pay for that transportation to get them back home. Uh, my husband himself, he was a former Marine and he, he, was, um, he was privy to that. You know, his grandfather died when he was serving in Iraq and the Red Cross was responsible for bringing him home and getting him to that funeral. So that's just one of the things that we do. But there's also with the veterans, military veterans, many of them are homeless or they don't have the, the support system that they need. So the Red Cross is there with animal therapy um, helping them really open up. Uh, many are unfortunately suffering from PTSD. So we're trying to help these veterans open up to be able to get that care and the help they, the help they need, as well as reconnection workshops and yellow ribbon events where we help those military families. And so for those people that are integrating back into civilian life after military, it's, it's 
imperative that they have um, the skills they need to transition, and that's one way that we also help. And I don't want to speak for our viewers, but I think this is something they may not think about mm -hmm. when they initially hear American Red Cross. They may not think about the service members that you all reach and all of the other services you provide. How important, we hear our volunteers back there taking those phone calls, so thank you all for calling, but how important are those donations to do what you just mentioned? The Red Cross is very proud that 90 cents of every dollar that is donated goes to helping our community and helping and providing those services. And so 90% of our workforce is volunteers, as you see behind us. And it is imperative that we work on donations because that's that's the kindness of the American public is what allows us to uh, help our community. And so we can't do it without you. Uh, we get very little outside funding and we cannot do it without gracious people who are making those donations. Well, we appreciate the work that you do how can real quick how can members of the military how can they connect with you or families of military members yeah it's very easy um, you can go to redcross.org slash saf or you can give us a call at 1-800-RED-CROSS. Red Perfect. Yeah. Good deal. Thank you very much, Annette. Thank you, Thank you for thanks being for here us. and sharing. And thanks for the work that you do. We're going to continue with our, our telethon here. It's actually going to run until 6.30 this evening.